How was up, y'all? What's poppin'? What's crackin'? It's D. About to react to this Jamari vid. It's titled, This is Drake's Worst Nightmare. Okay, I'm sure it's gonna pertain to the whole Kendrick performing at the Super Bowl situation, but I skimmed through it, and it looks like he's showing Lil Wayne. Um, so, I think he's gonna also get into the whole conversation about should... Kendrick gave me performing at the Super Bowl. Lil Wayne shit. I think that whole argument that's taking place right now is so goofy. I'll talk more about it at the end, but let's hear what he has to say. Let's watch. So at this point, we are 128 days removed from the debut of Now Like Us. And since that then, Kendrick by. has that's really crazy. only done two things, which were his live performance and concert. I'm still mad I missed this. Let's not talk about it. Let's move and on. And then, of course, also releasing the actual video for the number one song in the world. What, 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 but other than that, it has been mostly radio silence from the rapper. That was until yesterday when he dropped the announcement that he will be headlining the Super Bowl halftime show this year. What the deal, everybody? My name is Kendrick Lamar, and I'll be performing at Super Bowl 59. Will you be pulling up? I hope so. You know there's only one opportunity to win the championship. Period. No round twos. Period. Let's get it. Period. Boom! No round twos. Meet me in New Orleans. February 9th, 2025. Now a lot of people are focused on what he said right here. You know there's only one opportunity to win the championship. No round twos. And no round this twos, bitch. was Kendrick once again trolling Drake. As a couple of weeks ago, Drake was posting onto his Instagram that he would win round two of the beef. I put it in the front page, back page, middle page, wherever. Headliners, column one and two, we will win game two. We will win game two. <laughs> this, of course, had all of Drake's biggest fanboys <laughs> pitching a tent in their pants. Game two, we will win. That's a fact. Hey. This the new thing. Drake in five. Drake in five, people. <laughs> Only the real understand that bro what's oh, understood bro. don't need to be explained y'all gonna watch it y'all are watching <laughs> the other thing people were saying was that this had to be a callback to a line from first person shooter the notorious song that apparently kicked off this entire beef this was of course where j cole and drake finally would collaborate once again J. Cole, where is and this goddamn drake album also wanted kendrick the fuck on this song doing, but he refused drake Tidy, your nonsense. hit up kendrick to say hey we got an open for you it's me and Cole. Come holla at me. Do the song. Kendrick doesn't do the song. Then he hears the song. And the song is so a bunch of niggas who's talking about me and you as a Spider-Man meme and blah, 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 blah. And he says, man, these bum ass niggas who <laughs> get a feature from me is now acting like they're number one and number two. Both of them. Here, J. Cole raps. Sure. Love when they argue the hardest MC. Is, is it K-Dot? Yeah, is it Aubrey? Yeah, yeah. Me? We are the big three like we, we started, started a league. league. But, but right, right now, I feel like, like Muhammad Ali. Ali. Now, obviously, Kendrick would respond shit. to the K-Dot. big three controversy on the future single like that, where he says, the big three is just big me. And that pretty much anyone standing in his way, including both Drake and J. Cole, could get the smoke. Now, eventually, as we all now know, J. Cole would eventually back down. And it was probably in his best interest to do so and not get caught up in this carnage. Mm. So what I want to say right here tonight. But something that J. Cole was doing though that's really like, nigga, shut the fuck up and get it together. Drop this album and stay out of it. Because I feel like he keep jumping on songs with Drake's ops. Like if you're going to diss Drake, just diss him. Just diss him flat out. But I feel like he's trying to you know, just align himself with people who are dissing, dissing Drake, but he's not actually wanting to do it himself. But I feel like that's even worse. Just diss him yourself if that's the case. If you have animosity towards him now, then cool. Talk about it. And maybe he will. Maybe on this album he's going to, you know, take his shots at Drake. Because I feel like also Kendrick was uh, instigating, <laughs> you know, through, throughout the beef, he was instigating and uh, saying that, oh, you know you did cold dirty, you know? So... I feel like J. Cole has, has changed his opinion of Drake th- these past few months. Um, but, yeah, he hopping on the song with A$AP Rocky. And it's like, all right, like, this the nigga, you know? Listen to me doing that and, and, and that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to find a little angle and downplay this, this nigga's fucking uh, catalog and his greatness. I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers that ever touched a fucking microphone? 
Now, as for the, the callback to this song, Drake in the chorus says, Big is the what? Big is the what? Big is the what? Big is the Super Bowl. Now even back at that time, a lot of people did see that as a shot at Kendrick because back in 2022, Kendrick came out during the legendary Super Bowl halftime performance with Dr. Dre, right, right. Snoop Dogg, 50 Cent. I think other people are saying like, oh, uh, they came out for the Super Bowl in their hometown, da 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 da, the West Coast people. So why Lil Wayne can't come out for you know the Super Bowl since it's gonna be in you know his hometown, Louisiana? Is that's not always the case? The fuck? <laughs> I I would say most of the time, people who headline the Super Bowl are not from that particular city. So what are, what are y'all even talking about? Like, in, in the Super Bowl, people fly from all over to attend the Super Bowl. It doesn't matter. They don't make it... Oh, this is only locals. P people who are from this particular city that we're in right now, they're going to be the ones to headline. Like, I just think that's such a goofy take. I don't understand that at all. Niggas just shitting on Kendrick, and they, they want to take away from his moment. Because y'all argument doesn't make any sense. And also, has the Super Bowl been in Louisiana before? Has he performed before? No, so shut up. <laughs> and Eminem, let me ask you guys Damn. something. You don't think that J. Cole... And Eminem and Drake... ain't from no goddamn uh, California. Eminem, why he come out then if that's the case? So it wasn't just strictly a West Coast takeover situation. Like, no. What you about that? You said, and Eminem, let me ask you guys M50. something. You don't think that J. Cole and Drake felt some type of way about not being invited to perform here? Granted, they are not from California huh? like Kendrick, Why? but these are all the legendary rappers they looked up to during their childhood. So for Kendrick to get the nod here and to get to share the stage with them probably pissed these guys off. So I would not be surprised if that was what that line was about. And if so, it's even more hilarious really? that Kendrick will now be the down. headliner. While once again, not so subtly trolling. Hey, hold on, people. I, I looking at the lineup, the people who came out, people tried to make some like, oh, that was a West Coast moment. Oh, it wasn't. Mary J. Blige, 50 Cent, Eminem. None of them are from fucking California. That was not a West Coast moment in the promotional announcement for the event. Like if Kendrick goes out there and has this crowd full of people, including hundreds of millions or more watching from their homes, all calling this man a PDF file in unison, it's truly over. Now I also saw a lot of if people If he'll drop his album before February, I'm done with Kendrick. ...to headline this event, as he has expressed interest in the idea of doing so, mainly because it will be in his home city of New Orleans. Think about this for a second. Lil Wayne. Headline Super Bowl in New Orleans. How badly do you want to hear those words? Just as bad as I would want to see my name at the top of that list when I was there, whatever age it was, and I would bust into the office and get that Billboard magazine. And I performed at the Grammys, and that's an amazing thing. And the reason why, I, that's probably the next highest feeling I've been but nah. But honestly, if you've seen clips of Lil Wayne performing over the last couple of years, oh with respect to him, because he is one of the greatest that? rappers of his generation, it's just not very good. A lot of times he can't even remember the lyrics to his own songs. Oh. But I do still have the theory that Kendrick oh will bring Lil Wayne out stuff? on stage. And if he does that, bringing in the guy who ushered Drake into the game and made him who he is today, that would be insane. I don't think he would do that because he's still pro, uh, pro, uh, Drake. So why would he have Kendrick bring him out? I don't think he would do that. His and I don't think Ken Kendrick even want to bring out no fucking Lil Wayne. Like, nigga, this is my moment. I'm the headliner. I was chosen. I'm the chosen one. I ain't bringing out nobody. I ain't bringing out Juvenile. I ain't bringing out Lil I ain't bringing out y'all niggas. Why would I do that? Like, shout out to y'all. Like, sure, you made a great impact and you from this this city, but okay, okay. <laughs> Nigga, I'm here now. What's up? This is my moment. You ain't gotta bring them out. Don't bring them out. His name has already been mentioned in the Wayne. beef when Kendrick says, "Oh, not like us." That Drake apparently fucked Little Wayne's girl while he was jail. in jail That's back combating. in 2010, and then had to get a tattoo of his face to apologize to him. The next year, in 2011, oh, like, Little Wayne would rap on Six Foot Seven Foot. Had my heart broken by this woman named Tammy, but hoes gonna be hoes, so I couldn't blame Tammy. Tammy is obviously the woman who smashed That's both her? Drake and Little Wayne like, back in 2016. Like, do you prefer the company of? Drake over Lil, uh, Lil Wayne. Over I, Drake. That, that would be the story that we would talk about. And when Lil Wayne released his journal, Gone Till November, 
he was asked about this situation, and this was what little Wayne had to say about that. In the book, there's a part in the book where you say that he funny. came in and told you that he had smashed one of your girls. Oh, yeah. Oh, I wasn't worried about that. 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 So to me, he still seemed pretty salty he he there. Playing, and in the official right excerpt from the book, you can see how this really bothered him at the time. I woke up still feeling f***ed up about the f***ed up day that I had. Hell is what it was. I'm used to arguing with my girl on a daily basis, but finding out that she f Drake was the oh. absolute worst thing oh, I could have found out. So don't be surprised when Lil Wayne is touching that stage in February. Going to Super Bowl before and yeah. we're watching the halftime show. It's nothing like and it. And wishing, you know, like when you see the artist, you're like, I know they could have sung the song that I was featured on. I'm featured on everybody's song. <laughs> yeah, they could have yeah, brought me out. They could have brought me out. And after watching this clip where Drake completely sung and ignored him back in the day, I wouldn't be surprised if the weekend come. Drake completely sun and ignored him back in the day. I wouldn't be surprised Ooh, if the weekend comes like out that. there too. And it's just the Avengers Here, of the Drake detractors performing. Overall, it's just crazy how Kendrick is simply returning from the store every couple of months to kick Drake in the balls and laugh in his face. Drake has clearly been unsure of himself since the beef concluded. And Kendrick was a man who in his last album said that he was choosing peace. That he was trying to slow down and dial like back his life. But now it's like a damn beast was woken up inside of him. To the point where he had to apologize to God for going to war. I don't know, this is just one of the most insane victory laps I've ever seen. It's like when that elephant killed that woman and then spun the block and showed back up at her funeral. I mean, this guy did say he was the biggest hater and he meant it. Personally, I am looking forward to seeing his performance. Same. I do think until then, Drake is definitely going to be feeling the pressure. So it's going to be really interesting to see everything that happens until then. I do think this is all very <coughs> strategic. I mean, they usually do not announce the Super Bowl halftime performer until way later in the year. But they're really, really giving this one some time to marinate. Either way, I do want to thank you guys. Listen, it's going to be iconic. I can't wait. Okay, I can't wait to be at somebody's Super Bowl party. Um, you know drinking and enjoying the show and i hope he don't bring out nobody from from new orleans because he ain't got to and i feel like if people were not making a big deal out of it i would have been like yeah that's an iconic thing to do for him to bring out lil wayne or juvenile or whatever everybody shit all the hot boys <laughs> bring them all out that would have been iconic but because people are putting pressure on kendrick and being like oh why is he even performing and it should have been wayne instead now i feel like he shouldn't bring nobody out because fuck y'all the fuck now now i ain't doing it <laughs> so if i was if i was kendrick that would be my mindset personally but we'll we'll see what he does but i just feel like that's a very goofy argument and people who are saying that are just haters you're just trying to take away from kendrick moment just say that just say that because where was y'all outrage in the past when the super bowl has been in louisiana where is this energy with with any artist who performs in in a in, at the Super Bowl that's not in their hometown? Did anybody ever say that to Beyonce? I, I I doubt the Super Bowl was in Texas when she performed. She performed a couple times at the Super Bowl. I feel like nobody was like, oh, why is she performing? Why isn't it the legend from the state? Like nobody does that. So people doing that now just for Kendrick is so weird. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think though. Let me know what other videos you're gonna watch and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.